This is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. The tarot card link is the extended link. It's in the description box below. Let's get into the full <clears throat> oracle card spread, okay? Remember, this is for Libra, sun, moon, rising sign, which is what I am, Libra rising. Um, and it's also uh, for anywhere that Libra influences your natal chart. So that means sun, moon, rising, Jupiter, Mars, Mar Mars, Mars, Mercury. Anywhere Libra energy influences your chart, because this is an energetic reading. So let's get into it. This is out for the next seven days. Remember that your seven-day love predictions are also a part of the extended reading link below crowning your energy libra this week is surrender now but you know there's no surrender anywhere in sight in fact when this card is reversed this is flying right into the thick of things like a moth to a flame you're fall you're 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 going head you're going head first now this is neither a good energy or a bad energy it's just a mentality and the mentality is you're all in you're all in sink or swim and this is a very one consistent thing about this energy crowning your reading, uh, Libra, is that it is a very risky energy, but risk is not necessarily bad and it's not necessarily good. What it is, is sometimes absolutely necessary. And I think that that's one of those times. And there's, there's a feeling and an energy around you where you're willing to be bolder and a heck of a lot more cardinal than you normally are this coming week. For whatever the reason, Aquarius energy, I think, is really supplying and supporting you with a wonderful like vein of fuel for you becoming more confident and, and overt about your confidence in yourself. And I think that's a wonderful thing. What I do know is this kind of mentality does tend to come with a uh, greater damage and greater uh, loss, but it can also come with greater gain. Um, and it, it, inevitably, it's really not about what comes out of it right now. This crowning energy is just that this is the this is the mindset and this is the mood that you're in over the next couple like about a week out. Yeah, this is the mood that you're in about. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna get it done. I'm all in. And I really like this energy for you, Libra, because. There's a sort of passive aggressiveness or pitfall that we normally fall into as Libras. And this is absolutely the opposite energy from it. And sometimes you just gotta try something that's different. And that's been a common theme in all of the readings that I've done over the past week is that um, you just gotta try something different. If you keep trying the same old things, you get the same old results. But if you try something different, then you either learn from a huge failure or you you push yourself ahead and i think that that's what you want so there is no such thing as failure there's either learning so that you know what not to do the next time or there is there is progress what i don't want to see what i never want to see with anybody that gets this energy and this mentality is discouragement if it's failure you know what i'm saying because it's not failure it's learning and so i think going headlong into this week the one thing that i would encourage you to remember is to have confidence in whatever the results are because the results are teaching you things. They're showing you things. They're revealing things. They're making you smarter one way or the other. Even if they make you broke or they make you single, whatever the negative outcome, sorry, excuse me, whatever the hurtful or uncomfortable outcome of these, of these risks you're taking may be, there is a lesson, there is a, there is a truth. And I feel like that's what you're really wanting to get to is, is rebalancing yourself. And I think that this is the kind of momentum that you need because maybe for a lot of you, there has been too much passiveness. There has been too much, oh, everything is okay. It's gonna be okay. I'm just gonna let things play out. No, you wanna be key player now. You wanna be out in front leading the way, whatever the risks may be. And you know what? I respect it. I respect it. Now that could be because I'm a Libra rising, <laughs> but I respect it. I get it, you know, and it's also saying that you might get burned this week. It really is. Watch out for the crash and burn this week, but it's not like don't keep going on the road. You might, you might get burned this week. You might fly too close to the sun. Um, sometimes that's what we need to get things done. So out here is truth transcends illusion. There is something that has been hidden, something that has been slumbering, sleeping, um, something that has not been revealed, and then bring your ideas to life. And so what this is saying is 
you're trying to bring out the truth. You're trying to suss out the truth. And maybe this is the reason why it's like you can feel something. You know, either you know something's up or intuitively you can feel something's up. And that's why there's this, well, I have to take the risk. I have to do this because the bottom line is something is, something is being suppressed and you want to, you want to push it out. You want it. That's why you're like, you're like supercharging this out. It's like you're, you're trying to, um, shock out whatever is underneath the surface and whatever is hidden. You're trying to bring it out or call it out because there's this intuitive understanding um, that you have. There's something that lies beneath the surface. Bring your ideas to life. I feel like there's still maybe that's what it is. It's like you're trying you're 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 trying to jumpstart your ideas. You have there's a lot of creativity here, and somehow for some reason they're like blocked or buried. And I feel like. Hi, Wizzy. I love you, Wizzy Bear. Yes, a Wizzy Wizzy. So at first this card came out upright and then it flipped. It fell to the ground. And so, yeah, there is a definite imbalance coming this week. There's a definite sense of um, going to an extreme or wanting to go to an extreme. Um, not setting healthy boundaries for yourself. Maybe that's why you... Hold on a second. Letting, uh, Being at risk, maybe, of letting people in that shouldn't be in your life or doing things that are could cause you more damage but it's hold on it, it goes right along with this crowning energy what is this central energy that i'm getting for you libra uh know your worth so it's almost like you're in a stinky situation i feel like I, you know what this is the energy as it comes out it's almost like the energy of you trying too hard you know, it's, it's, do you have to try this hard or can you just be yourself? Um, this, this, this being the central energy is it usually trying to, you know, it's a stinker trying to cover it up and, and trying to be something that it's not. But at the same time, I have to say, it's almost just a confirmation that yes, you are trying something that is not comfortable to you, you know, and I don't think that it's a bad thing. You're, you're, it's, it's a great personal risk to yourself to try to be something that you're not. But I feel like there's some sort of reason behind this. And it's got to be because you are sick of being, I think it's you're sick of stagnation. There's a sense of something hasn't happened or something hasn't come through for you that you were expecting to come through. And a big disappointment in that. And almost like you feel like you've been slighted in some way. Like it should have come through. It should have happened. Why didn't it come through? Really feeling like no matter what you do, you're throwing your energy away. So it's almost like you decided to try something new. And now we have trust in the magic. So you are really taking a whole, this is newness, newness and new prosperities. You are, no, I'm sorry, new possibilities, um, a, a new mentality, right? But then we have be peace. This is your energy, but it's in reverse. So this is definitely telling me there's an intent here to unbalance the scales, to tip things in a different direction. Um, you don't want to be peaceful. You want a new beginning and you want it now. Overcome any obstacle. This is a really good outlook. Why? Because there is so many risks you're taking this week in terms of personality and attitude and uh, thought and ideas and beliefs, even what you're opening yourself up to. So this is a beautiful energy, Taurus energy, and it is your sister energy because Taurus is ruled by Venus as well. What I mean by that is this is going to get you through this, this sister energy. Venus is at a strong point in the sky and it is a little wonky and it maybe is a little crazy. It could be inspiring you to take risks that you normally wouldn't take in terms of romance or how you feel about others or how you feel about your own beauty and your own self, like putting yourself out there. But the sense of sensibility is that this is going to hold you down. It's actually going to get you through anything. Your sense of your, your drive and your belief and your commitment to beauty, your commitment to love. Um, so this is more romantic love, passion love than it is fam familiar love. Um, familiar love would be more Cancerian energy or Virgo energy would be healing or sisterly love, uh, sisterly brotherly love. Um, so this is definitely, but this is definitely like romantic love because this is Venetian love. Um, so this is interesting. There could have been some sort of upset or you, or 
on the really, really sort of microscopic focal point, you could have tried, you could have gotten into a relationship or, or becoming upon or getting into a relationship with somebody that you never thought you would or that really isn't your type or um, the sort of new way of looking at people, seeing beauty where you hadn't seen it before. That could also be an interpretation of this, these cards as well. Don't worry, I'm gonna review all the cards together. Let me get your grounding energy. Grounding energy for Libra, Libra energy, please, this week. Libra energy this week. Libra, Libra, Libra energy this week. Libra energy this week. Let me finish the shuffle. Yeah, you're leaving yourself wide open and vulnerable. Hold on. All of these cards are upside down. Which means you're turning something over. You're turning. You could be turning. Like it's almost like um, I don't like when the when the when the grounding energy is upside down. But at the same time, it's not about what I like. Sometimes life stings. This is somebody attacking you. Usually in the attack position is somebody coming after you or trying to attack you. Time to collaborate. This is and this is hurt or heartbreak because this is sort of like a break up. Um, um, the the. the this partnership did not work out or you're finding it very difficult to uh, work with somebody or somebody is refusing to work with you or doesn't share your interests and this is a time for a beginner mind there's a part of you that is stuck and so now i get it i get the imbalance and i get the push pull there is a huge disappointment here because there was a collaboration a partnership or a relationship that just did not work out it was not working out and now you are wanting to try anything and everything. You're, you're like, you're acting in, in extremes to reverse this, not to reverse this energy, but you're going to the total opposite, opposite end of the spectrum, the extreme to just fly right forward because you feel stuck. You feel like everything that you did or nothing, nothing that you could do was right or that you've been denied in every situation and that basically the way that you were was not good enough and it didn't lead you to something that was that was what you wanted it didn't lead you to a place that was um it, it hurt you upset this is reactionary is what i'm saying um yeah it's reactionary let me show you the cards hold on okay so here's your reading and i want let's let's first focus on the central energy the grounding the crowning the, the central and the grounding crowning this energy is this risk taking this risk taking factor of flying headlong into just crashing and burning and then this is your central energy which is trying so hard to basically hold things together or be something that you're not and this grounding energy is very uh, displaced so it is um sort of i think where everything sprouted from if you will this grounding energy your the root energy of being vulnerable, being left, a partnership breaking up, and it hurting you a great deal. But this is you trying to, I think, put the pieces back together again and find a way to maybe justify the hurt or rectify the hurt or null or numb the pain. But this is usually still being attacked. So maybe you think that you're you're there. Hold on, let me. I don't want to. I don't want to mess my words up. You just feel absolutely vulnerable because wherever you are right now it is not a place that you are comfortable with or want to be. There's something about the partnership or the job you're in or the relationship that you're in that is not functioning, that is not right. It's not something that's making you happy. And I feel like there has been some sort of effort or energy on your part to try to make everything okay or make everything seem like it's okay. But overall, you're basically crashing and burning. That's what this is. But this wonderful energy here of being this, this risk taking mentality of trying something that is out of the ordinary for you, because the truth is this, the truth is still being hidden. It's still being suppressed. It's still like it doesn't want to come out. And, and, um, this energy is, is basically trying to, I think, 
it's almost like it's it's suppressing it in some way. It's almost like there's no there's a lack of energy, there's a lack of boundaries. All of those things has really left you wide open for attack, for persecution. I feel like somebody slung S H I T at you. I feel like they really did. I feel like they put some sort of burden or wrong or fault on you. Like somebody literally aimed and fired an arrow and said, Libra did it. You know, and you, because of your constant insistence to balance things out and make everything okay and give people the benefit of the doubt, there is this energy that, that literally left you wide open and vulnerable for attack. It's like somebody threw the stink on you. Somebody threw the stink at you. Somebody put it on you and you didn't stick up for yourself. Or, or um, yeah, you didn't stick up for yourself. You didn't stick up for yourself. And that's probably why you're trying to take on a new leaf right now. Because you realize that, holy moly, what just happened? I, I don't want to take this hit. You know, it's like, this is so unfair. This is something that you're going to, it's almost like you're either going to, you're going to have to learn it the hard way, or it's something that you already did learn the hard way, Libra. And you've decided that's why you've been like called to action to like basically decide to go the opposite direction and just start taking aim and firing and, um, taking these risks and, and, and being aggressive because you're not an aggressive person, but you are literally flipped upside down. It's almost like there is, there is a mentality this week of somebody that could try to use your own mentality against you, your own sensibilities against you. Somebody that is, somebody, something, a situation, a circumstance. It doesn't have to be a particular person, but it, it is sort of watch out this week because it's almost like somebody, it's almost like you're, you'll be, you will be used against yourself. Your willingness to try to compromise, your willingness to try to um, make, a, make a wrong situation right. Or this week, depending on where you are in your energetic journey, this week is about dealing with the ramifications of that and really it hitting hard and it hitting home. And you realizing they threw that stink on me. You know, they took advantage of my openness and my vulnerability and they, they manipulated it and they used it to their advantage. Now, what do I learn from this? I got to fire it up. I got to fire it up because people don't know the truth. It's been suppressed and it's been used and the suppression of it has been used to hurt me. And so I'm not doing this anymore. I, I am absolutely not going to do this anymore. It's almost like this, this week is your realization um, lesson the hard way, lesson learned, but the hard way, you know, it's like, that's sort of like what this week is for you. So what's this outcome? Let's, uh, let's go into tarot. Let's get a full spread of what exactly is going to come out of this situation. Hopefully what your reaction is going to be and suss out what it is that's causing the issues. We're going to go over to tarot. The extended link is below Libra. I'll see you guys there. And remember that includes your full romance spread as well.